I receive my loss. Let's do this. <laughs> We got this from HelloFresh. We're going to try this later. It's a chicken ramen in a shoyu style broth. Let's see how it tastes. First, we got to do some errands and it will be that. It's called We Walking the Dogs. So, we're going to make some soup today, some ramen. There we from go. From HelloFresh. Is it HelloFresh or just HelloFresh? Yeah. It's HelloFresh. Then we're just walking the babies, except for this one. She's called. And then we're going to do, we're going to watch um, Church Online, and then we got some errands to run, and some house chores to do, and then yeah, ramen time. Miss you. Took you long enough. It took like 20 hours, you know? I don't know what to Hey, you? babe, what's up? Huh? Huh? Sorry. Are right, you ready to go? When I get in there, I'm like so indecisive. What'd you get though? Color. Browsers. More color. And knickknacks. Alright. Then we're off. We're right, going to Marshalls. 24 hours later. I'll show you. Came with some chicken, some little chicken breasts, and this is a 10 ounce, and then also the big old pack. We're gonna open this up in a few. I'll just turn the camera over. All right, so this is what we got here. We got the spinach, we have soy sauce, chili flakes, sesame oil, sesame seeds, crispy onions, uh, concentrated bone broth, chicken broth, your ginger, two garlic cloves, some mushrooms, the noodles, uh, what type of noodles are these? Just ramen noodles, and two scallions. You might use this, one of these, versus this, just because, uh, versus the uh, pork broth, just because um, I don't eat pork. This is what it looked like. got the instructions somewhere, right back here. So, I'm gonna check this out, I'm gonna read through it, and hopefully I don't need it, because it looks like it might be pretty simple. But, we'll get started. 
All right, so I hope you guys like my little ratatouille music, but we're starting the recipe now. You can see what you want to do before you start your cooking. So of course, slice and dice, chop, do whatever you got to do to your veggies, but treat it with love. This is just going to be a pretty long video. Even if it's fast forward, it's kind of long. It's just me chopping at all angles because it looks nice. So I'm, I separated the uh, the whites from the greens of the scallions. Um, chopped that up. I took the garlic, chopped it up. Uh, Right here is me with the ginger slicing, dicing. It slices, it dices. Just showing off my knife skills. Now once you get to your mushrooms, um, all you have to do with the mushrooms is slice it. So just go right down the middle and half that. Or you know if it's big enough, I guess you could uh, quarter it. Or if you have the little tiny mushrooms, then you could just uh, half, half, half. Well, that is quarter. Or whatever small one quarter. Do that with the bigger ones. So watch your fingers. These are actually, this is a uh, new knives that I bought. So they are like really sharp. And um, I cut myself a little bit once. And I didn't cut my skin, I actually cut right through my nail. So that's how sharp these things are. From BJ's. BJ's. Well, once you uh, slice your mushrooms, I'm gonna make a nice little big happy face. Eyeballs head smiley and a nose that way your cooking will come out exquisite well we're gonna go on a quick commercial um, I want to show you guys my results real quick so here you go look at these results check out these results so I did some called an Enneagram test uh, that's it right there Enneagram right there. and um, it gives you personality thing and I think it's pretty interesting and I got really high in a number seven uh, it was equal with number eight but this is number seven because they gave me number seven uh, type seven is described as the enthusiast sevens want to have as much fun and adventure as possible and are easily bored uh, I guess it's kind of true you know I do I don't get too easily bored, but I do like an adventure. I love that. And for the eight, because uh, both were 98% match, so it says type eight is also known as the challenger. Eights see themselves as strong and powerful and seek to stand up for what they believe in. And I like that too. It's, it's pretty interesting, you know what I mean? But that is my test. Um, I did this on some random website. I literally just Googled uh, Enneagram test and it came up and it's E-N-N-E-A-G-R-A-M okay um, in case you want to do it yourself but now let's get to this ramen okay so for this part we are making the chili garlic oil I'm just mixing the sesame seeds with the garlic powder and And the chili flakes, uh, some salt, some olive oil. Um, I'm gonna mix that up, and you're supposed to throw it in a uh, in the microwave after you cover it with some plastic wrap. That part's not 
in the uh, video, but that's what you gotta do in case you wanna make your own. And once you do uh, have your noodles, <laughs> your noodles, once you do have your noodles in your pot of boiling water, you wanna just yell at Alexa real quick. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Now you want to turn your heat all the way up, then turn it all the way back down to about medium high. All your fresh produce, vegetables, and stuff that you chopped up, you want to throw it in there. You're gonna get a little glaze. Like I said, I wasn't gonna use any um, of the pork broth concentrate, so instead I use a veggie broth. Put some soy sauce and. Uh, the chicken broth that it came with. I actually needed a break, uh, so I went for a coffee break. Well, not really went, I just stayed in my kitchen and opened up a little pack of instant coffee that we got from from Manila. So you want to take out your chicken, and you want to start to uh, season it, salt, pepper both sides, and you want to press it down. If you want to smack it, you could go ahead. If you want to beat it, go ahead, you could beat your meat if you want. But then you want to throw it in, in a pan, and on another side, you could have your mushrooms, like I have here, with some spinach cooking. Once that's all nice and grilled and cooked to perfection, you just wanna look at look at your creation, look at everything you made, and uh, admire. It. Most importantly, make a assembly line because you're gonna start stacking everything up. So uh, your noodles, you wanna take your noodles, throw it in there first, and pour some broth over it. Let that broth break it up um, because by now it should be kind of stuck together. I'm gonna add some of your chili oil that you made. Um, by the way, you don't have to follow the paper exactly how it is. I don't really like spice, so I don't put too much spice in it. Um, so then you just want to add your chicken, your vegetables, your mushrooms, uh, your scallions, and it came with uh, crispy onions. Um, I really appreciate that because of the texture. So, yeah, and also these uh, scallions too. It looks really nice, you know? It's all about presentation. Not all about, because if it tastes like crap, then, then you just ruined everything. But presentation is a huge chunk of it, but look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now we're gonna dive and sink our teeth into all of this right now. All right, so the ramen's done and I think she liked it. She already started in. I'll show you mine real quick. That's mine. Got a little chopsticks from Korea. I was in Korea last year. Let's see, I wanna try the broth first. I think that's what you should do always before eating any ramen. Broth is good, even without the um, pork ramen broth I'm not sure what it would taste like I probably will never find out but let's see everything else mm -hmm. it's good chili <coughs> excuse me it's pretty good it's pretty good I think it was just good uh, <clears throat> I think it was a success. What about you? What do you think? Me too. The only thing that I'd probably say is like the chicken. The chicken? Um, I haven't even tried the chicken. The chicken is, which is like expected because um, it's um, chicken breast. So it's a little dry and like hard to chew through. Um, but it, it, it's good. So if anything, I'd probably mm -hmm. use... Like chicken thigh or something mm -hmm. next time, just so it's a little bit more juicier, and um, yeah, that's it. But the flavors are awesome. Um, it tastes really, really good, so I like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like it. So it's pretty good. What I really like about this is um, <clears throat> they do give you like the recipes like this, uh, step by step, how much of everything you need. Um, measured out by ounces or teaspoons, fake tablespoons, whatever it might be. So it's pretty cool. And um, I feel like whichever ones you do like, you could just keep it 
and make it later on down the line even if you don't keep the um, subscription in this case this is hello fresh we tried another one before called blue apron and that one same thing they give you a little paper send you all the ingredients somebody came out to say hi <laughs> but um yeah it's pretty good i mean <clears throat> I want to try the rest of their um, recipes. We ordered enough for what was it? Five, five of them. Days. I think five days. It was five days. Um, five different five different recipes, and even now I have leftover um, ramen noodle and broth. <clears throat> so it was supposed to be for one day, um, but we have leftovers. So that's the best part about it. I can eat again tomorrow or later on tonight if I get hungry and um, it tastes good <laughs> so we do have leftover we got leftover um, broth a whole bunch of leftover broth and it's because um, the recipe had called for a certain amount I think it was about three and a half cups um, but I did put more because I wanted more so that's the good thing you can adjust things and make it how you want if you want to eat it again later you can add a little more if you want more chicken you can add more chicken if you wanted to or um more vegetables whatever it might be but um that's why i have more and that's why this one is like all up on my plate we got five meals lunch lunch or dinner um i chose lunch but we could use it for lunch or dinner for less than a hundred bucks um, or $105. I don't know, somewhere in between there because I just signed up for another meal thing that for myself. Um, um, but yeah, so we get like these five meals for two people at home. We can do it together, you know, all that for less than a hundred dollars. And I think that's kind of like a great, um, that's a great win just because we could easily spend him and I when we both go out to eat like a hundred dollars for two people appetizers um two entrees and like a dessert and maybe like a drink or something you know plus tip all that you know so it just you know this was nice and like we're also like staying home doing what we got to do stay safe and all that good stuff so i think this was fun and it's cool for like a fun um like date night or whatever so yeah so thumbs up Thumbs up for me too. Um, thumbs up for me too. That's Hello Fresh uh, ramen, <laughs> chicken ramen. So there goes again. If you want to try it, give it a try. <clears throat> I know uh, discount codes come out every now and then, so it's not too bad. Um, see you for the next one. Moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so this is. Sea moss, Irish? Um, yeah. Irish sea moss, and we might have a taste for the first time. Not say something like What are the benefits of sea moss? Why, why do people like this? Well, there's a lot of different benefits. Um, the human body needs like 102 different nutrients, and this has 92 out of the 102 of them. It, has, it gives you like a lot, like super duper a lot of energy um helps with skin it helps with um, digestion it helps with like literally everything it helps you build muscle it hel helps muscle recovery it helps with like your sex drive it helps with um just everything so i love it all right so did you like it when you had it um no no <laughs> it, i didn't like it um, just the taste is just, it's not for me to just have by itself. Um, I tried it in like having it by itself. I tried it with like putting it in my oatmeal. Um, and the, and I've tried it putting it in my tea and the best way that I have found is, um, putting it in my smoothie because I literally taste, I don't taste it at all. And it's not that it's like gross, but it's just like. I don't texture. know, it's just, it's not even the texture, because the texture is almost like applesauce-y, but more gel than that, um, it's just, 
Tastes like the ocean without right. salt. Like just give this a try. I didn't I didn't have it that day. Um because I didn't want to. I was all like ramen, ramen, ramen. In case you ain't know, this is a whole nother day. But <laughs> let's do this. I'm ready. something because that thing tastes funk not, not funky mm -mm. it doesn't taste like anything though right it doesn't taste like, like anything it just tastes like with this i don't know how to explain it it's just you you do have to um mm -hmm. mix it with something people have asked me like do i like it am i still gonna do it and yes i am still gonna do it and i'm gonna be pretty religious about it um, just because of the benefits and how amazing it is for your body. And I will too, because knowing her, I will make them have it. it into something in my sandwich, in my rice and beans, something. Mostly in the smoothies, because that's you just don't taste it in your smoothies. Um, and I want my baby to live forever with me. So. Oh, so she she said this earlier. These are you said these are two different ones. Just in case you can't see, it's a color difference. Yeah, That's so when I first bought it, it was like dragon, it was like dragon fruit flavored, okay. um, like, but okay. it just didn't. And then I bought another pack that brought raw sea moss. And, and that's what this is. And that, that's what this is. And I okay. made my own to keep um, to keep up with it and things like that. So once that runs out, I'll just continue to buy the raw one and make it myself because it'll last longer. Mm -hmm. I made like huge um, mason jars and then like a small one. So it'll last for a little bit. Well, this is what I look like. All right. So I guess the bottom one she said was the dragon fruit one. That one probably tastes way better. And the top part is just pure sea moss. Just nothing special, just sea moss. So that was that. Did I like it? No. Is it good for me? Yeah. So will I eat it? Most likely. Say bye.